New York City Police Department. It is unlawful for any person to use or operate any sound device. Right now I'm marching at the front of a march of thousands of people here in the heart of Manhattan. There are hundreds of New York City Police Department officers circling the march. The NYPD has been massively repressing the pro-Palestine movement here in New York City. At the same time, despite the fact that several arrests were made today and yesterday and last weekend of prominent activists in the pro-Palestine movement, the, the movement shows no sign of abating and actually there are more actions in New York City than ever. We've seen already five arrests today, if not more. Uh, the police have cracked down on the organizers of this protest uh, with really no good reason to try and silence us. Uh, it's clear that our message is being heard. It's clear that people are paying attention. It's clear that they're afraid. The people in this city, the cops, they think that they can suppress us. They think that they can shut us down. They think they can scare us and intimidate us. But you have not made one hair stand on the backs of our necks. You have not deterred the movement in the slightest. Relax. On the contrary, we have grown stronger day in and day out. The genocide defenders sent their puppets, the NYPD, thinking they could shut us down. They were wrong. Joe Biden has blood on their hands. Every single person in the White House, every person in Congress has blood on their hands. No one will hold the United States, no one will hold the Zionist entity accountable except us, the people. People power wins, and we know that, they know that. That's why they're scared. That's why they came out last week to arrest us, to suppress our march. That's why they came out yesterday to do the same to peaceful protesters. And we're going to say no more. We're going to keep marching and keep mobilizing. Because the more we do that, the more we put pressure on these politicians, the quicker Palestine will be liberated. Every single inch of Palestine will be liberated within our lifetime. And we all know that as a fact. It's very clear the cops are abusing their power. They're sick and tired of the fact that we are successfully shutting down New York weekend after weekend, day after day. And um, if anything, this just shows how victorious we are and how strong our movement has become. And we need to make sure that we continue staying out. Today, from what I've heard, our mission was accomplished. And so as long as we continue staying out, continue leading, the 
that's all that needs to matter. It's critical now more than ever that we're out in the streets every single day um, because we need to make sure our five demands are heard, um, which are ceasefire now, lift the siege on Gaza, free all Palestinian political prisoners, end the occupation, and end all U.S. funding to Israel. Um, we can't let police repression silence us. We refuse to let it silence us. Uh, and no matter how many times they try to harass us, no matter how much repression we face, we have to make sure we're out here.